Hey MTV, I'm Elle Woods and welcome to my crib. Here we are at the El Portal main stage. Let's close the door to make sure that the air conditioning doesn't get out. We're having a heat wave here in Los Angeles. Here we are in the back stage. Here is where all my clothes stay. I don't actually get to change here because I don't have enough time while I'm on stage. So this is just where my clothes live. Now let me show you where I actually get changed. In the backstage part, right here on the wings is where I get changed. I just don't have time to make it to that green room. So come on. This is the main entrance. Hello, do you want to be in my selfie? Oh my god, I would love to. Yes. Happy clothes. All right. Now, over here is where I change right before graduation. It is so quick. We just have this little light just to see what we're doing. Okay, this is where most of my props live. At top of show, I always need to make sure that my denim jacket is on my desk so I can change also while I'm on stage. One of my favorite props of the show, the card that the girls give to Elle. I'm Elle. This is my little backpack that I show up to Harvard thinking that all the stuff that I need would fit in this bag. And here's another one of my favorites. Elle Woods' resume. Oh, and it's scented. It's so nice to take a happy moment here because when I come up here, I have just gotten my heart broken. It's nice to be up here on good terms. <laughs> It is the morning after opening night. I do sound like a bass now, <laughs> but last night was so magical. Last night, the audience was amazing. They were so encouraging, like the curtains barely had opened and they were screaming at the top of their lungs and it just made us light on fire and we just went out there and killed it, crushed it. We couldn't have had a better opening night. Like everything was perfect. I'm so, so, so grateful. Wow. I don't have my tripod. I'm staying here in North Hollywood, so I don't have all my stuff, but I'm trying to steam because today is Saturday morning and we have a double. I have a matinee at two o'clock and then another one at eight o'clock tonight. And I, as you can hear, sound a little tired. Yes, it's the morning, but also lots of singing last night. <laughs> um, let me find a plug. Okay, there's one right here. You guys have seen this baby before. Went to Ralph's two days ago to go stock up on all these water bottles. So. This will probably take a couple minutes to set itself up. Let me get my smoothie. About to take my vitamin C mega dose. I literally just open it up, do a little squeeze. Which, by the way, this uh, Mary Ruth's Vitamin C Mega Dose doesn't taste bad. It's just very, um, it's citrus and vanilla and just like the combination is very like interesting. Not bad, but just interesting. Well, smoothie is chaser, premier protein for protein and a little bit of caffeine. Oh my God. Mm. 
Oh, also need to take my allergy pill because as we know, I'm working with little dogs that I am allergic to, so I'm on a daily allergy pill right now. It's starting to fog up, but not there just yet. Oh, where's my tea? I also need a tea. We got three drinks going on this morning. Tea, protein shake, smoothie, water. I also woke up and chugged an entire Gatorade. Um, I can't express enough how perfect last night was. I am so thankful for such a incredible audience. <laughs> Being a great audience member really helps the cast bring out their confidence and just feel the excitement. And it just is like that exchange of like, we are having fun together. And they were just there for all the laughter, all the cheering. They love the dogs. Like those dogs steal the show every single night. When I walk on with Bruiser for the first time, people are like, so much laughter and cheering that we had to like remember now we have an audience you need to hold for those moments and like not jump the gun on the line so we were just really enjoying and letting people clap and laugh and oh, what an amazing amazing audience that's all any actor could want and the costume changing went really really well this weekend I'm so thankful for it because there's just so much changing on stage that during tech week, I was missing a couple of my cues because it was just so like crazy to be switching from all the stuff and like not knowing like which pieces go first. And I think now at this point, we have turned into like a synchronized dance. Like we know that the shoes come off first, then the jeans, and then tank top, and then jacket, and then coat, and then props, and then dog. And it's a lot of everything, but so much great things. Thing is still not ready just yet, so I'll just keep chatting. <laughs> And oh my gosh, I want to say a big thank you to those of you viewers that came out to see me and came to say hi after the show. It absolutely meant so, so much to me meeting you guys and just like getting to see you and like connect. It was truly speechless and just endless gratitude so thank you for those of you that came out to the show to support it just means so much to me and for those of you i know that couldn't make it i get it i see your lovely comments and your words and encouragement and all i want to say is don't worry because this is not the last show and it's just not going to be the last show so don't worry and who knows what if there's a tour should we start manifesting a tour that would be fun. Maybe. Perhaps. Sky's the limit right now. I'm feeling on cloud nine. I feel like I could like do anything right now. So I am like getting a view of myself in the finder. Like, excuse me. Like I really went from so much glam last night to this and <laughs> I woke up like this. Yeah. Um, it takes a lot of time and effort to look like what I looked like on stage. So, um, excuse me. I'm going to steam and shower and yes you'd be like why won't you just steam in the shower i'm gonna do that there too ryan got like these little vic palettes that we can toss in there to like really help with the system so gonna do that double there can never be enough steaming but this one i just need to like put my face down and like really get in there because i just really need that extra support so steam shower head to the theater makeup on sh first show and then once the first show is done, we'll have an hour break. I'm gonna probably pop out of the theater, get some lunch, come back to the theater, retouch makeup, get dressed again, and hit it for that double night show. And I, again, am just having the time of my life. Like, it feels so right, and I'm obsessed with my cast, and this is just an amazing show, and it's just been so amazing to be a part of it. And it just, again, I just love the theater community. The people in this community are just so genuine people. Oh my God, let me show you. I, I showed up to my dressing room and there were love notes on my desk, like treats, peanut butter cups, drinks, flowers. One of my cast members went out to the store to get me a fake flower because they know that like flowers make me sneezy and just trying to extra protect me and it was so sweet like oh my god one of my cast members got me a sparkly pink disco ball so then I have that hanging in my room right now. My dressing room is so pink and elified right now. I like love showing up so I kind of always like trying to get to the theater ahead of time just so I can get there ground myself and just sit in the pink vibes like Mm. I'm on cloud nine, you guys. I gotta leave work.
Okay. Did I take it? Did I take my, me, me looking right now at my allergy pill thing, like, did I take it? Let me look back at the footage, but I think I already did. I just, my brain is with me, but also not with me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's everywhere. <laughs> Okay, my steamer is ready and I should probably rest my voice. So I will catch up with you guys in a bit. Bye. Holy hell, it's hot of this shit out here, man. By the way, LA is having a heat wave, of course, in the middle of the show, so it's really hot. Two shot A, woo! There's my disco ball that brings the vibes. Girly vibes. I spilled toothpaste on myself, so I'm looking a little busted. Excuse me. This is pre-glam, we'll see you on the other side. Pre-wig, looking like a thumb, but just wait. I feel like opening and closing is gonna be the big shows. Yeah. Oh yeah, closing is gonna be big. Sold out, our first sold out one. I know. It's gonna be popping. <laughs> I think you would be the guy. To be honest, it would feel less like stressful if I knew I had to because right now I feel like I only have one weekend, so like I have have so much writing on one weekend. So like yeah. the fear of getting sick or something is just so such a such a high. But now I've made it. I just need to wake up tomorrow feeling like a million bucks and I've made it. Mm -hmm. That's actually true because if you got sick after this weekend from pushing so hard or like being around the audience or you know i'd be like oh i got my thing or if i like got sick this weekend and i could then like pick up on the next you know yeah so it was just like a bit stressful mm -hmm. <laughs> just finished the first show of our double and you can see literally the stream on my makeup from all the tears <sighs> thank you for your support and thank you to all of you who came and said hi just everyone for supporting and for commenting and loving us ryan and i feel the love i'm gonna go eat some chipotle really quick because we're on again to dry off all the sweat from the mic packs. Thank you, five. We're heading to places in five minutes. I'm feeling a little full from the Chipotle, but I'm gonna have to get through it, you guys. That is the tough thing about having a two show day. Like emotionally, I'm exhausted because I just had to go through that emotional roller coaster. And I had a heavy lunch. I was so hungry after the first show, so I ate way too much than I should have. But here we go. Wish us luck. <laughs> survived the two show day and my voice is feeling a little tired. I just picked up some Carl's Jr. I wanted in and out but I knew that line would be out of the wazoo because it's a Saturday and I just, I'm about to wash my face and sit in silence. I just wanted to check in before I go because we still have one more show. Last one tomorrow. I have my family, my boyfriend, friends from out of town have flown in to see the show tomorrow and 
Tomorrow is gonna just be so special and I know this cast is gonna leave their entire heart on the stage tomorrow. Tonight was our best show yet. The crowd was amazing and everyone just sounded and was so on. I can tell that the cast is like not ready to give it up and neither am I. We're talking about like, okay, so like, can we transfer the show to another theater and like keep this going because we don't wanna give it up? And I'm like, yeah, please, because you're gonna have to pry Elle Woods out of my cold dead hands. I love her so much and so if you see any auditions for Legally Blonde, let a girl know. I will literally drive there. I love her, I love my cast, I love this show and I'm gonna go rest because tomorrow's our last one. Enjoying the calm before the storm. There's our sweet ghost light. <sighs> Look at our house. Which by the way, she's also vlogging. That's Miss Famous Ryan Christina, so make sure to check out her vlogs. I'll link it in the comments below. We have a sold out show for closing today. All of these seats are gonna be filled. Closing. Last one, babies. We just finished act one on our last show date and I just went out there and laid my heart on the floor, y'all. I just, I just went there and like took that last note. I just stood there. I've just been taking it all in and like really looking into my castmates' souls while we're on stage and just like trying to be present and enjoy it because I blinked and act one's already done. We only have one more act to go. It's time for me to get serious. Just left the theater and I'm parked outside the Airbnb and I just wanted to take a minute right before I go in where I have to turn L in and just reflect on what an amazing journey this has been and I just want to thank you guys so much for coming along with me I'm completely changed after this experience and I have been changed for good this cast these audiences Everything was just so perfect, and I can't wait to see what's next. I'll see you guys very soon. Look at 